and we were just having fun, you know? We were riding scooters. We are having a, the time of our lives, and we wanted to ride scooters. I was like, guys, let's go to the venue. Like, because I wanted to see, like, the, there's, like, the Berlin Wall right by the venue, and I was like, dude, that Berlin Wall looked kind of dope. I want to go to the, the venue and to go look at the wall, and everybody's like, sure, we got nothing else to do. Zoms, we're all riding, and we rode through, like, the ghettoest part of Berlin I've ever seen. It was really, it was like a bad area. And what happened was, is that there's bike lanes and there's sidewalks and shit. And we're riding on the sidewalk. And at some point, we're like, fuck this shit. We got to ride on the road because we don't want to be on the sidewalk. Call Valorant donated $6.24. You guys easy win champs, no cap. No cap. Yo, Axel, thanks for the $6, bro. I really appreciate that. So I was like, I was like, fuck it. Let's ride. Let's ride on the road, dude. Because this is like ghetto as fuck. So when we were switching from the sidewalk to the road, there's like a little, there's, you know, like the sidewalk gap between the road. And Zom's busted ass so hard. He's like the last in line. I was leading the group. So I was first. I heard like a loud, bah! Zom's, or our video guy was like, wait, Mike, hold up. I turn around. Zom's is on like just getting up and someone ran by him. And I thought he was getting robbed. I actually, I, my first reaction was, oh shit, we're in a ghetto ass area. I thought he was getting robbed. And I remembered, oh shit, this is not America. This is Berlin. The guy was like, yo, are you okay? Are you okay? Like he was worried for Zoms. I got over there and Zoms like, oh yeah, I'm fine. And all Zoms was worried about was his fucking Rolex. He's like, oh dude, I broke my watch. I broke my watch. My watch is broken. Like he was like, my watch is broken. My watch is broken. And I was like, wait, are you okay, dude? Like what's going on? And he's like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. My watch is broken. I was like, I was like, dude, it's okay. It's okay. Let's just, like, do you need to go to a hospital? Like, what the fuck are you doing here? And then he didn't even, like, show me his elbow until, like, we ordered the Uber and we we're on the way back. <laughs> but his elbow was completely fucked up. His elbow, like, was scraped bad. And I was like, oh, shit, you're fucked. My first thought was, like, oh, shit, he's fucked. He can't play the game. Like, he literally can't move his arm. Like, he's fucked. Because the first thing was, like, oh, it's my Rolex, but he's holding his arm like this. Like, he's like it was down, and he was holding his elbow. And I thought he couldn't... He's like, I can't move my arm. And I thought he, like, fucked up his humerus. Like, you know? Do you know, like, you hit your elbow really hard, and you can't move your... I thought he was, like, handicapped at that point. I was like, oh, dude, I'm done. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm right, done. And the first, like, well, some of the first thing is, like, dude, we should have never rode the scooter. He started blaming me instantly. He's like, you guys peer pressure me to ride these scooters, and now look what happened, bro. Oh shit. He's like, now look what happened, bro. You peer pressured me. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Can't hear the end of this shit. <laughs> and I was like, dude, no shot. You're a girl. And I was like, dude, you're a grown man, brother. You're a grown man. Like, I didn't peer pressure shit. Last player 